time now to check in with Sean Quinn with our full forecast. Sean. Hi there, Tracy. Well, hazy sunshine now giving way uh, after a lot of cloud cover, then giving way to the hazy sunshine across Santa Barbara and the marine layer is still kind of lurking out there. And today is it. We know we have four seasons. Well, today we're officially into summer, so we're uh, right over here. We all about the tilt. So summer is here and as you look at all uh, the uh, the variables into this and it's really it's just because the earth wobbles very slowly throughout the year and the earth's tilt is what gives us the seasons and right now the northern hemisphere is pointed fully at the sun so we have the most daylight in the northern hemisphere shortest day and longest night though in the southern hemisphere so kind of neat to watch that and see how that works out throughout the year so today again is solstice and right on cue boy mother nature said have it normal and look at that Santa Barbara at 72 degrees today nowhere near that uh, afternoon record you can see at the bottom of your screen in 1929 but this was kind of interesting and I can't remember this but 2008 I was here and it was uh, a while ago but still look at that 110 in Santa Maria I don't remember that day um, but I, I'm guessing maybe I just tried to forget it at 110 that is a ridiculously warm temperature uh, for this part of the world no matter what time of year it is 60s and 70s near the beaches today and a few 80s inland so really kind of mild out there for the most part past wearables at 88 degrees you're going to likely get in solidly into the 90s in about two to three days and I'll get to that in just a moment right now a lot of 60s along the coast as we look at our weather vitals winds are fairly mild but in that westerly component really showing its face and that's how we keep that marine layer in play especially when it goes maybe a little bit southwesterly also looking at the uh, um, humidity values and look at Gaviota that's one of our northerly wind sort of uh, our canary in the coal mine and not showing any difference in humidity in fact almost actually a little bit uh, on the wet side compared to even Lompoc and San Ynez and that shows you that we're not getting those down coast winds so uh, the good news is if you like the fog in that part of the world you're going to definitely see at least for the next couple of days uh, satellite fairly clear across the area and as we look at our uh, weather um, our weather map that shows some of our uh, our variables straight onshore wind out of the west high pressure though is starting to increase and build across the area so areas to our north especially and inland are expecting to get very warm over the next couple of days and a fog and mild conditions right along the coast. We don't expect to lose the uh, the ocean influence just but it will be limited near the beaches and already we are getting a heat watch for inland areas uh, once you get out of our three counties but of course um, that could easily change and of course that means that it's going to get very warm inland but maybe not quite in the criteria of a heat watch or a heat advisory. We'll have to wait and see by about Monday and Tuesday. Now tomorrow morning for Father's Day a little bit of a northerly flow out by Point Conception back up toward, toward, toward Point Arguello. It looks like maybe that will clear the fog out early, but boy, other areas are going to hold on to that marine layer. Even into the afternoon hours, it looks like it's going to be like today where it kind of flirts with some of our beaches uh, from north to south. So uh, if you're expecting a beach day, probably going to want to bring in just a little bit of the, uh, the extra clothing for the morning hours especially. Tomorrow's highs, look at that, looking almost mirror like what we saw today. 70s and 60s near the beaches, 80s, a few 90s are possible inland and as we fast forward to Monday guess what we do almost a an identical repeat once again maybe just a few degrees here and there um, Gaviota though ah look at that that might be that the computer is sensing a slight northerly flow developing on Monday we'll have to wait and see on that and there are your temperatures for Father's Day breezy and mild morning clouds of course we've been saying that a lot the last couple of days and it looks like tomorrow will not disappoint as far as anything out of the ordinary a very June like type of weather coastal clouds warming up inland slightly tomorrow but no real big shocks to the system it looks like it's just going to be another great day around the region. Surface on the small side, I did notice a little southern hemisphere swell out there and some very minor background wind swell. And there it is for your forecast with Father's Day tomorrow. And check that out. Really doesn't change a whole lot, just a few degrees in any direction. And that's going to be the story for just about everybody from San Ynez back down to Ventura. And we're going to send it to break in just a second here as we look at beautiful Santa Maria. Same pattern right there. Some days a little warmer than others. Otherwise, just a great forecast. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.